the law is not saving families 2500 bucks a year, as the president promised. A Virginia Republican Congressman Morgan Griffith, what are you seeing, Congressman? Well, what we're seeing is that uh, rates are going up. Uh, I was talking with a broker today, and uh, he said that in a small shop, two to 50 employees, they're looking at uh, rates that are going up as high as 54 percent. And that's, uh, that's in a rural part of uh, Virginia where there aren't that many uh, providers out there and the competition is not that great, but we are seeing increases uh, fairly significant in our area. We so, well, say, these guys at Fox, they bash this uh, health care thing, what have you. The Republicans never find anything to like about it. That you don't include the national average, averaging it all out for those who are seeing premium increases, for those just coming in and paying less, and that it averages out to be less than the inflation rate in the health care arena. I have not seen that, Congressman. Have you? I have not seen that, and, and one of the things I'm concerned about and want to make sure that we have all the data that's out there is is that uh, will the administration hold on when they get these rates coming in from the various companies will they hold those until after the election so I put a little bill in to make sure that uh, that HHS turns that information over to us 30 days after they receive it but uh, what we're seeing is the increases keep going up there may be some who have increases that go down but the vast majority of the average American families in the middle class are going to go up all right when you say 30 days for HHS to respond I do notice history suggests that when the news is favorable HHS the White House wouldn't have you that out in a nanosecond when the news is not that's like a slow boat to China deal um, so the fact that a lot of these numbers and data points are not forthcoming makes me think that they're getting worse they're not getting better yeah I, I have to agree that they're going to get uh, that they're going to get worse and in fact last week we had a little hearing I said are they going to get better as was promised are we going to see the average family with a twenty five hundred dollar reduction none of the folks there representing insurance companies from across the country raised their hand when I said raise your hand if you expect to see a twenty five hundred dollar reduction and then we walked it down to fifteen hundred nobody expects the average family to save money under the Obamacare policy all right when you talk about these savings the administration was building into that I believe congressman that uh, your overall policy costs are going to be stabilized, but leave out the, the dirty little detail that much like a, you know, a, a good automobile insurance plan, you leave out the fact, yeah, you're covered, but the deductible will really be high. Has that been factored in the fact that a lot of people, especially young people signing up for this, are discovering they might have upwards of a $5,000 deductible before the plan kicks in? Yes, we're seeing a lot of that, too. And in fact, when we were looking at those policies this morning, when I was talking with one of the brokers in my district, he was showing me that they could get that increase down to 10 percent, but they had to have a much higher deductible and a much higher out of pocket in order to do it. So when they tell us that they're getting data in that shows, you know, lower than expected uh, increases, I'd like to know what those uh, deductibles are and what those out of pocket expenses are. Congressman, thank you very, very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. All right.